These pain, all this series of paintings are called Key Hill. And the reason for that is that if any of you know Livington, Hampshire, you'll know that Key Hill is a very steep little cobbled street which runs down from the main part of the town, of the town down to the seafront. And so, or waterfront actually it is in Livington, isn't it? Um, uh, the house was delightful, Georgian house. The garden at the back was just a little backyard, typical of the time, just made, intended really for drying out the laundry. There was also a privy which used to fascinate me, the idea of having a toilet out of the, out of the backyard. Not that we ever used it because by that time plumbing had reached the old house. So the thing about it was that the walls were, of course, for privacy. So they were about six feet tall, I suppose, of brick walls between us, our plot and the next one. And it was a right rectangular shape. And I can remember going around with my doll's pram, filled with teddies and all the rest of it, and just walking, walking around this rather limited space with no view at all except the brick walls until I looked up in the sky. Now there was something quite different. There was the clouds and the birds all flying backwards and forwards across the, uh, the square. And I remember thinking, oh, if only I had more space to play in. So basically, this is the way I dealt with it. So that's why the rectangle has been extended and turned into a different shape, so that you, I could, in my thoughts, I can get away from that restricted backyard. Afternoon, Tam. What are these pictures about? These are, I call them tide lines. I've done quite a lot of sailing in my childhood and even now in my adulthood. And of course it's essential to know what the tides are doing so that you can save, uh, from going, save yourself by going up with the right time of the tide so that you can get from A to B speedily or if you, go, if you try to do it with an ebb tide of course you may not be able to make it. This is part of my childhood and adult life, the sailing, uh, which was, of course, my, the basis of my father's profession as a yacht designer. So we had to learn how to deal with the sea and the tides. All I've done with these is to take the tide tables, which give you the high tides and the low tides on different days of the month, so that you know exactly what to to expect and how to fit your day's sailing into making the best use of these tides. Basically, that's it. I just go through and set out a paper, a graph paper, and take off the readings, mark them off, and then line, draw the lines across. And each of these covers several tides, high, low. Perhaps I could just show you. No, there's that one, then there's that one, then the low, and then that one, then the final, the mark, the most of all of that. So that's what it is. I just, it's just part of my love of the sea and the water and the phenomenon of the tides. And I'm very pleased that I made these paintings. <laughs>